is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here. And you are very welcome, my friends, and especially my enemies. Come in, sit down, no touching. I don't do the touching. And welcome to episode seven of Smallville, the savior of Superman. Now, one of the many things I loved about this show and still love about this show, because as long as I have access to the episodes, this show is still active and still in my heart, is the premieres and finales. So today we're going to focus on the premieres. Now, I've been kind of scratching my head and thinking, do I add the pilot? Do I add the pilot or do I leave the pilot out? I think I'm going to leave the pilot out of my favourite premieres because although I love the pilot, the pilot is a great starting off point. It's one of the best pilots I've ever seen. Smallville's actual active season premieres are very special. And I want to kind of get it in my mind which ones are my favourites and which ones are my least favourites. So we look at the season two premiere, which is amazing because it's the continuation of the tornado. And we get, obviously, the continuation of the sequence, whether or not Lex is going to allow Lionel to die, and um, Clark saving Lana from the tornado. It really is a fabulous premiere. So that's one of my favourites. And season three, the season three premiere. Now, I can't remember the titles off the bat, but that's great because Clark has put the um, the school ring, the red kryptonite ring on him. He's kind of, All his kind of inhibitions are left behind. That's how they described it on the show, didn't they? So he's in Metropolis, he's running riot, he's basically um, robbing banks, he's being a right bad boy, isn't he, old Clark Kent? And um, that opening sequence in Metropolis, when he kind of rides through the, um, the bank and smashes the window, and look, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty awesome. And then he stops the robbers and takes the money for himself. Um, it's a great episode as well, because it's a double premiere, really, because it continues. So you've got part one and part two. They did that for a little time, and then they stopped doing it later on within within the show. And Rutger Hauer is um, a, a, the crime boss Morgan Edge, and he's very important for season three as well. Um, so season as uh, the season three premiere is absolutely fantastic. Then obviously the season four premiere is the um, introduction of Lois Lane. So it's a very very big episode. I think we all kind of were skeptical of having Lo Lois Lane in a pre-season super, sorry, start pre-season, this isn't a sports video, a pre-Superman story. Um, but as soon as we saw Erica in the car, deciding whether or not to spark up the cigarette, she was Lois Lane. She was Lois Lane. And they gave her loads of elements of different versions of Lois Lane, especially like the, like the live action version. So Margot Kidder's Lois Lane smoked a lot, right? So they had the whole smoking thing. Of course, she didn't smoke on the show because... Obviously, Smallville was aimed at teenagers and stuff, so they didn't want to encourage kids to start smoking. So, And her mum on, on the show apparently had died of cancer as well, so that was another thing. Um, so she, she got a fabulous introduction. It was a very important one. You see, with Lois Lane, you can go two ways. You can, make her a, you can go too far and make her a bitch. And if you make her a bitch, no one's going to like her. A strong woman isn't a bitch. A strong woman... Is independent, forthright, but the point with Lois, she's strong, but she's compassionate. She she cares about people, but she puts up the front. And Erica's Lois, that's what's so amazing. Anyway, I'm getting lost on Erica's Lois because it's just such a fabulous performance and piece of writing for a version of Lois Lane. So it's a great um, premiere, the season four premiere. Obviously, you've got the whole thing with Lana in, in France with Jason, um, and of course, Clark's been knocked out because in the season three finale, he'd been sucked into the Quachi Cave walls. And Jonathan's in a coma. So, yeah, it was it, it was a good. I like the season four premiere. I don't think it's one of my favourites, but I certainly like it. I think if you kind of put a gun to my head, and I hope you don't, and force me to give you kind of some of my favourites, I think season two one's a really good one. Um, I'd say season the season five premiere is amazing. The season six, season five and season six and season seven are my favourite premiere episodes. Now, season eight is kind of a rejig premiere because it's setting up the new vision of Smallville from, um, what, um, what's, what's their names? Kelly and Brian, Kelly Savers and Brian Peterson. So they were introducing Davis Bloom. They were introducing uh, what Clay was doing now, Tess Mercer. So even though it's kind of intriguing, it wasn't one of my favourites. The season nine premiere is pretty awesome. With it, that was Callum Blue's one of his best performances as Zod in the season nine premiere, and I kind of like that. 
Season 10 was very interesting as well, but I definitely think my favourite premieres, and you should definitely comment down below and let me know what you, what are your favourite premieres, and would you add the pilot into your favourite premieres, or would you keep that um, separate? So I'm going Season 5, um, which is called, um, what's the season? Arrival. Arrival is a Season 5 premiere. The Season 6 premiere is Zod. When um, Lex becomes Zod, he gets taken over by Zod, of course, because Brainiac let him out of the fortress. And the season seven, um, the season seven premiere is amazing. He's fighting Bizarro. The, the Bizarro version of Clark Kent is one of my favourite kind of DC characters that they did. And Tom's playing him as well. You know, so he's got double the work. And he did a great, look, they did a fabulous job with that. And they used it. In, in a few, uh, they used him in, a, in another arc in season seven, of course, which was awesome. And we did what a twist that was, by the way. We didn't even know that was Bizarro, did we? But I think five, six, and seven arrival Zod. And is is it Bizarro the season seven uh, premiere title? I think it is. I can't remember. Correct me down uh, in the comments down below if I'm wrong. So, what is my favourite season premiere of Smallville? Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Um, I think it has to be Arrival. Arrival was very, very important because that's when the Fortress of Solitude rises. I never thought, I never thought we would see the Fortress rise. I thought if we ever were going to see the Fortress rise, I suppose we'd have to eventually see it rise because this is a pre-Superman story. This is the story of how Clark Kent becomes Superman. Um, but I never thought we were going to be treated to the Fortress rising and seeing it like that. In the glorious fashion, our Mars were able to do it. The funding for the special effects was amazing. All right, it probably would have been better on a film. But for the budget that Smallville had, the way that the Fortress rises, and I think it was just amazing the season before how they made such a big thing. These three elements, you know, Clark having to go around the world, these other people after them, including Lex. It was a whole big thing. Clark had to earn the right for the Fortress of Solitude to rise. And I thought that was absolute genius by Al Mars. So I'm saying the season five um, premiere arrival is my favourite premiere because I just think he's got it all. It's got finally Chloe admitting she knows Clark's secret, which is very emotional. The scenes with Clark and Chloe were so special. The dynamic those two characters and those two actors had together was very special. So you had a lot of things going on in, in the season um, five premiere. You had the villains from Krypton, of course. Um, you had the ship, which of course was Brainiac. The reveal of Brainiac at the end there as well. I had it all. But for me, the highlight of, Revi of Arrival is the rise of the Fortress of Solitude. It's just amazing. We've seen a Fortress of Solitude, of course, in Arrowverse, in Supergirl. But we never saw it rise. And the scenes in the Fortress were always special, especially in Arrival. Clark begins to have his training. Then he's interrupted by Chloe. He promises to come back, and of course he doesn't. But what you see, what they did in the first um, four seasons, they used they used the Kawachi cage, which was genius, as a substitute for the fortress. And I thought that was amazing. I loved the um, Kawachi cage. It was very mystical. It was very unique. Clark was seeing all the symbols and starting to kind of wanting to know more about his Kryptonian heritage. But then, as I say, to introduce the fortress. Because when you're watching the season four finale, and we'll talk more about this when I talk about my favourite finales, there's no question, our Miles era of Smallville, that's where the best premieres and finales were. But at the end of the season four finale, when he throws the crystal and he's in, he's in the Arctic, you know what's going to happen if you're a Superman fan and you understand that mythos. How exciting was that? So to see that rise was one of the most special things I've ever seen. It looked absolutely beautiful, and you could tell, you could tell it was it was John Barry's design from Superman the movie inside the fortress as well. They had a lot of faith and loyalty to that first Superman film, but they did try and echo stuff from other kind of live action versions of Superman as well. But as I say, um, that's what that's what makes Arrival for me the best season premiere. But as I say, I want to know what your favourite season premieres are. Please let me know down below. Comment down below. Tell me why. Tell me what what do you look for in a season premiere? Because back in those days, because we had great finales, that looked, led to great season premieres. Like 
like the Zod season premiere was awesome because Clark was banished the season before in that finale, in the season five finale, in the Phantom Zone. And when you open up that season six premiere and Clark's actually in the Phantom Zone, you're seeing what the Phantom Zone looks like. He's being attacked by phantoms again. Entity Effects, the effects company that handled all Smallville special effects, did a fabulous job. And I was just sitting there going, oh my God, this is awesome. And actually those effects stand up still to this, to this day so well. And oh, I'm just oozing. I could sit here with you all day talking about my favourite season premiere episodes of Smallville, but it's going to be a rival. I think it's the best thing, mainly for the Fortress of Solitude. I'll be back tomorrow with another episode of Smallville to save you at Superman.